Sunday. Welcome to the studio. It's Froyal here. I'm so glad you joined me. It's going to be so much fun. It's a beautiful day in the south of France and I thought it was a great time to pull out my art journal and have a little play with some collage. The trip has been absolutely fabulous. Everything I hoped and dreamed of, I have loved it so much. One of my favorite things is watching the ship as we come into port in the mornings. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so serene and so peaceful. And it's really exciting that we're waking up somewhere new and there's a new adventure ready to be had. It's a beautiful morning to be in France. <laughs> what a beautiful day of exciting discoveries. Yay! So join me now as I create in the travel journal so I can capture these beautiful holiday memories in an instant. So here I am in my beautiful stateroom. And if you've been watching the behind the scenes on Patreon, you know how glamorous this glorious room is. So whenever I travel, I make sure I take a plastic white tablecloth with me so that if I want to create art, I'm already prepared and I can cover the surface because we don't want to get anything sticky on this beautiful leather covered coffee table. Now, this is my art journal or travel journal. It's a small size. I love it. It's so easy to carry so easy to travel with. And if you've been watching any of my adventures, you'll know that I've already been to Sydney to visit my kids. Yay, my little treasures. <laughs> we had so much fun. And then I flew to Singapore with my son and I did this page on the plane in Singapore. Seriously, you need to have a look at that episode. That was a whole lot of fun. Although it was the smallest studio space on the planet. Then I did a couple of these pages at the Ritz in Singapore. We had a mighty fine time. And I'm loving that I got to capture those moments in the time of enjoying the travels because I look back now and I just remember how much fun those few days were. So now we're up to this page. Now, if you wanna know why these pages are already covered like this, have a look at how to prepare your travel journal before you go, because this is a really good way to put some color and texture on your page before you head off so that when you come to creating along on your travels, you're not stressing out about the blank pages. Now, it's not gonna take much to add some color and texture and some really significant memories to these pages. And that takes out a lot of stress and pressure. I don't feel like I have to fill up the whole pages. I can just put on the significant elements and the images and textures or writing. That reminds me of where I am at that time. And that's really what about capturing the moments is all about. Don't make it hard for yourself. If you make it as easy as possible, then you're more likely to actually do it. Keep your materials simple and then it's not complicated. I have my pencil case full of pens and pencils. I have matte medium that I always like to use, but you don't have to. You can use a glue stick or you can use double sided sticky tape. I've got that. I put it in a little container, easy peasy some scissors, a brush to put the matte medium on, and some washi tape. So this is a very, very simple studio setup, portable, on the go, traveling, and creating art to capture those memories. It's a lot of fun, and seriously, you should consider it next time you go on your next adventure. Now, the artwork doesn't have to be perfect. It's your own journal, so it can be as messy or incomplete as you like. So take the pressure off yourself, have some fun, collect some brochures along your way, and create something in that moment of traveling that you can look back on and be really happy that you did because you can remember how special that moment was. That's the point. <laughs> We're not making perfect art. We're having fun and capturing memories. Now, if you've seen any of my previous travel episodes, 
you know that I love this Canon portable printer. Absolutely love it. Now I can't live without it. I take it everywhere I go when I'm traveling because all you need to do is hook up your mobile phone to the printer and print out the images that you want. It's instant, it's portable. It's so absolutely fantastic. I can't live without it. So I've printed out a couple of images here they look like little Polaroids, but they print a lot better because they're printing from your phone. They are also stickers. You can just peel the backing off and stick them down. My pages are a little too textured and I like to use the double-sided sticky tape. But either way, it's quick, it's easy, and it's instant. There we are in fabulous Burano. We had an absolutely amazing time this day. Josiah and I, when we were in Venice, hello Venice, loved Venice. So I'm just going to make a couple of pages here with these beautiful photos and some of the memories of Venice. Another thing that I like to do when I'm traveling and making art is I love using my tickets to put in the art journal because it's fun, you know where you've come from, where you've gone to, and also they have the date on them. So it's a great way of putting the date into your art journal so you can remember exactly when it was you went to wherever you went to. <laughs> I think it's fabulous. So I'm gonna start by putting on some of these tickets into the journal and I'm gonna use these glorious photos. I'm just loving this. It's a great way to start and get into collating some of these beautiful memories into the travel journal. Yay! Sometimes I like to cut straight lines and other times I think the torn edge is really nice. So I'm gonna start with this ticket because that's when I actually left home. Was the 4th of November. From Palmerston North in Auckland, there's the date on this side, 4th of November. So that's pretty fun. I'm gonna put this on first now. If you've prepared your travel journal and your pages are wonderful and you don't wanna cover them up, then don't. But I'm not too stressed about these pages. I like having the colored background. I think that works really well. But I am going to put this ticket on here so it will cover up some of it. I'm okay with that. That doesn't stress me out because I like the multiple layers. Mm, I might even add some of these tickets to it because this one, we went from Auckland to Dubai and Dubai to Venice. I know, it's a really long way. <laughs> so I might put some of these tickets on there as well. And it's all just a bit of fun. So I ended up trimming down these tickets a little bit because I really like this background color and I wanted some of it coming through. Now, if they buckle or crinkle or don't stick down as well as you would like, don't stress out about it. It's an art journal or a travel journal. It's just to capture the moments. It's not going to be an absolutely perfect piece of art that you're going to exhibit somewhere. So, you know, don't stress out too much about it. Now, I think I want to put this here in the middle. Yay, because we're looking so fabulous. That was an amazing day in Venice and I absolutely loved it. So I think what I want to do next is um, highlight the date here that we left home because time goes by so fast and sometimes you forget where you went and when you went. <laughs> so I'm just highlighting the date, the 4th of November on there, because that's just fun. <laughs> and I can flick through this then and remember what dates we were in what countries. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that down on there. And then on this side, once we got onto the fabulous Viking Sea, then the Glorious Company puts out this fabulous daily newsletter, which has all of the information you're going to need for the next day on your excursions and where you're going and what time the restaurants are open, yada, yada, yada. It's absolutely amazing. Did I tell you how incredible this ship is? I mean, seriously, if you haven't been following my vlogs on Patreon, you've been missing out on some serious fun. Anyway, so I'm gonna rip some of this paper and put it onto there, this image here of Venice. Venice was amazing, I absolutely loved it. 
we had such a fabulous time so I'm going to use some of this I'm going to put it on there and I'm really liking that color of the background that's going to work really well with these tones in this image yay gotta love it when it works just gonna put some on there and still leave some of my background color you know when I do these pages in the travel journal before I leave home I don't exactly know where I'm gonna be and what I'm gonna want at the time so it's all just a bit of fun look at that that looks great I'm loving that those colors really work I may even put my glorious gondola photo on here perhaps yeah that'll work and there you go the page is done it doesn't need anything else oh maybe baby maybe <laughs> maybe one of these from the shuttle boat timetable yeah you know I really wouldn't mind that how about we just cut the Viking and put that on the page see it's just a matter of picking up the different papers as you're traveling along and then creating something cool with them I might even tear it might be better it's all very simple it doesn't have to be hard or stressful and you get to create art as you travel I absolutely love it you've just got to keep it simple and allow yourself to create something that's going to be fun perhaps a little rough around the edges but at least you've got something captured yay so i'm gonna put the viking on somewhere maybe up there righto i'll stick that down and that page will be done and i think that's a really great place to start now i can keep going with these pages i have papers from each of the ports that we stopped in all the daily newsletters and the dear different things I've picked up along the way so I could fill the rest of the travel journals on my adventures by doing this simple collage technique capturing some images with my portable printer getting some collage papers from the daily activities and putting it together in an already prepared travel journal it is so much fun I completely encourage you to do this next time you're venturing off on vacation because it's a fabulous way to then look back at the end of your travels and go oh my gosh we had the best time now of course I love to finish my um, pages with a little bit of washi tape <laughs> my mum doesn't know why I like it so much oh, but I just do it's pretty <laughs> it's sparkly what can I say it adds a little bit of glorious bronze to the page it makes me happy so that's why I'm putting on the washi tape even though technically you don't need it to stick these things down I think it looks good and I like it so I'm doing it <laughs> doesn't matter what she thinks I put a little underline under the Venice and the Dubai and the date there just so I can remember at a glance uh, the beautiful Viking cruise has been everything I hoped for Venice was our first day and this is the beginning of an absolutely incredible adventure now if you do want to watch more of the behind the scenes then join me on patreon because I've been doing a daily vlog there of this incredible adventure and let me tell you it's been a whole lot of fun see how good that little bit of washi tape is adds a little bit of color another shape and I'm loving it what do you think about my first pages yay so I can go on now and continue with all of the fabulous stops and ports that we've gone to and it really is enjoyable it's very simple as you can see my studio setup is really basic I'm on a coffee table in my glorious room on the Viking Sea looking out to the beautiful French Riviera and I'm telling you it's not a bad place to be creating art <laughs> it's inspiring it's beautiful and it's relaxing there's nothing stressful about this application you just pick up the papers along the way a little bit of matte medium or else you can use a glue stick or double stick tape if you prefer stick it in your pre-prepared 
uh, journal and you're away baby I'm telling you it's absolutely fabulous I hope you enjoy this idea and these tips because truly it will enrich your life under the video in the description for more information there's discount codes come and join me on patreon it's all very personal there all these more art classes on skillshare and there's so much more to show you yeah.